It's been nearly two months now since the U.S. Justice Department launched its investigation into Kentucky's juvenile justice system. Tonight, DOJ officials held an outreach meeting to connect with community members and discuss their process. WKYT's Jeremy Toms listened in to that meeting. He brings us the details. It is our top story at 11. Federal investigators from the U.S. Department of Justice called in to hear from Kentuckians on Monday. These are your children, your grandchildren, your siblings, your friends, your loved ones. You're here because you're worried about them, and we are too. The DOJ launched an investigation into Kentucky's Department of Juvenile Justice in May, which came after a critical performance review by Kentucky Auditor Allison Ball, finding high levels of extreme use of force and serious staffing problems. We received significant information from public reports, families, and advocates that there may be serious problems occurring in these facilities. Their team will be looking into conditions at all eight of the state's juvenile detention centers to see if children receive adequate mental health care, what use of physical and chemical force looks like, and how the department implements isolation. Locking children up for even short periods of time, especially under harsh conditions, um, causes real harm. They note this is a civil investigation, not criminal, and it will look at the entire system. Although we very much care about what happens to every child, our work is focused on widespread problems that affect children over and over again. These officials acknowledge it will be a lengthy, sometimes frustrating process for the public, but they add the public's voices are crucial to that ongoing effort. Uh, this is obviously a very invested community, and so I appreciate your patience. I appreciate your willingness to be vulnerable with us, um, and I appreciate any and all information you have to share with us. Jeremy Toms, WKYT. Federal officials say they must complete their investigation before any findings can be released. If they find Kentucky has systemically violated children's constitutional rights, the Justice Department will try to enter an agreement with the state to resolve those issues. So far, they say the DJJ has cooperated fully with their investigation.